Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am super excited because this is my huge diamond painting I've been waiting for all this time. Um, <clears throat> it's from, I think you pronounce it Nafe. It's a brand from AliExpress. Um, and actually my boyfriend got this for me as a birthday gift, so that was super sweet of him. Uh, he ordered it January 17th and it came on February 18th, so it's about a month. Um, he did already take off some tape here because he was, <laughs> he was baffled by how much tape was around this. And so he wanted to, um, to see how many layers were in there. So he took this off already, but this was all packaged up when he first got it. Um, but the other thing I thought was funny is that I noticed there was a little, uh, drill stuck in the tape here. If you see, it's a little red square one. I just thought that was funny because that must have stuck on there all the way from China. So I'm going to get started unwrapping this. Um, hopefully <laughs> I'll be able to actually get it all off. All right, guys, that was quite the workout, <laughs> but it's out. Um, so it's not in a box or anything, but it is wrapped with some nice bubble wrap and it seems pretty protected. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Oh my goodness, look at all of these drills. Okay guys, I'm excited because this is the first one I've gotten so far that has this um, opaque cover on it. Okay guys, so here's the picture. Um, it's by that artist, I think it's uh, Leonid Afrinov. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I will write it in the description so you guys can see. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with him. He does these beautiful um, rainy tree scenes, a lot of times with umbrellas in them. Um, I just thought this was gorgeous. And so it is 120 by 60 centimeters. It's a square. It doesn't say really quickly how many colors there are, but I'll just count them up. Okay, there's 45 colors. Symbols, how many bags I should have of each. It looks like someone checked it off. Okay, I'll go through the drills after, but first I want to get to the canvas and the tools. Okay, so pretty standard single placer, um, tweezers, wax, and the green tray. You got two of them, so that's nice in case you have a friend that wants to join you. You can work on it together. Got some plastic baggies in there. Definitely not enough for 45 colors, but a few. There's probably like eight or 10 in there. Okay, the canvas. So I already am pretty sure that this is not gonna fit in the frame, but I will do my best to show you guys what it looks like. It's wrapped around a foam roller, which is really nice. There's a little bit of um, crinkling on the edges, but I do like that it has a foam roller. And as you saw, the drills are on the outside. Oh my gosh, you guys, what have I gotten myself into? Okay, so this thing is huge. I'm trying to zoom out so you can kind of see all of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, back to normal. Um, it does have a slight smell to it, but that's okay. It's got a key on this side. Um, I don't think it does on the other side. Let me check. Yeah, just a key on this one side. See if you guys can see that. I'll just show you the whole picture first in little segments and then I'll bring you closer to look at the actual canvas.
good stickiness. It's not super sticky, but it's good. I'm not seeing any rivers so far. And I'm just using the technique that people use to get these ones to lay flat. You just oops, lift it up. And when you press it back down when it's flat, it helps it stay. I do think it's double-sided tape, not poured glue. Okay, so now this side's nice and flat. We're going to do the other side. Yeah, I don't see any rivers. I see a little bit of like folds and lines, but not actual bubbling where the adhesive has detached from the canvas. And you get, oh, I'm sorry, there's a glare. You get the lovely tree branches here. Um, his pictures are really known for having a lot of bright colors on all the tree leaves and stuff. So I'm not seeing a ton right here, but I'm thinking that maybe it's just not showing up and it will show up when I have the diamonds in there. Okay guys, it's me from the future. Um, I just wanted to take all the paper off the canvas so you guys could get a look at the full thing. It looks really pretty. There's nice uh, reflections over there, and there's a person walking. Sorry for the glare. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can get a good look at the canvas. Yeah, I mean, it's even a little clearer on camera, but looks really good. So, this is very clear. Even where it's dark, you can still, they wrote the letters in white, so you can make it out really easily. Let me take a look at the actual symbols themselves and make sure, see, just see how they're laid out and see if there's any that might be confused with each other. So, I like how they use numbers for these purples that are all kind of similar, so you won't get those mixed up. Looks like I've already gotten stuff in my sticky canvas. <laughs> okay, this guy, to see, that one's actually pretty hard to read. But other than that, I think they're all pretty good. Let's see if I can find a C in the canvas and see if it's actually as hard. The C's, I mean, you can read them. They're a little hard. But they're the only ones that are really hard to read, so I think I will know which one they are just by the fact that I can't see them very well. <laughs> I do have to admit, I am a little bit intimidated by this. It's just so huge. And I've only completed one full one before, and it's been around 30 by 40 centimeters, and now I'm moving on to 60 by 120 square. So we will see how that goes. Um, Speaking of which, I'm going to measure this and see how big it really is. Wow. Yeah, that's like exactly 120. And then going down, that's exactly 60. So the whole dr drill area is um, 60 centimeters by 120. Um, so yeah, like I said, my boyfriend got this for me as a gift. I was going to do like 80 by 40 or something, but he knew I wanted the big ones and I I like the detail that comes out in them from what I've seen. I haven't done one yet. Um, and so he kind of just splurged and was like, I'm getting this, you can't stop me. So um, <laughs> that was really sweet of him and I'm really excited to work on it. But yes, a little bit intimidated. So if you guys have any tips on how to do these big paintings, let me know. All right, we still have the drills to get through. As I said, there are are a lot of drills in here. All right. Look at all these guys. Are these 310? Yep. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go through and uh, inventory these and make sure I have the right amount of baggies for each color. So I will do that and see you after. Okay guys, there's 79 bags of these supposedly, 310. <laughs> they gave me 80, so nice, they gave an extra bag.
All right, guys, so all of the colors were there, which is great. Um, the right numbers and everything. And a lot of them actually looked a lot brighter um, than the picture here. So when I unveiled this canvas, I thought it looked a little duller, not as cute as what I originally thought. But now, um, based on the drills, like some of these, they were so much brighter than how the square looked. Also, ignore my nails, sorry. <laughs> um, so I think it's kind of nice. It's going to be like a surprise. Like it'll look so much brighter and nicer than just looking at the canvas itself. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I brought you down closer so I could show you the colors of the individual drills. Um, and we can look at the quality of them. And if you're not interested in this part, you can skip to the end for my overall thoughts. So we've got a nice 780. Seven forty two. And let's go ahead and take a look at the quality. These look great. I don't see too many um, divots. Yep, these look like nice quality. Sorry guys, I still wasn't happy with the lights, but um, I think this is better. So. 741. Three three twenty eight thirty forty seven nine seventy seven nine thirty eight thirty forty two. It's really pretty blue. One tiny little bag of thirty eight forty six. Cute turquoise thirty eight twenty two. Nice bright yellow. 3756. I love these really light, um, whitish, bluish, pearly ones. They're so pretty. 3766. 966. 6. These look a little misshapen. Overall, I think they'll be fine. 993. I like that color a lot. 890. That's uh, a nice forest green. This one's really pretty. Um, 891. 3750. 820. This one's a gorgeous purple blue. Ooh, I love this one. $9.95. It's so vibrant. $8.17. One fifty. Nice deep red. I didn't want everything, I didn't want something that was going to be um, all really bright little kiddish colors, so I like that there's some deeper tones in here. 152. Those ones look like they're in really good shape. Well, I might miss that one. 996. 931. 827. 823. Oh, I love this one. Seven ninety nine, gorgeous. Eight oh nine, another really pretty blue. I'm a sucker for the blues. Seven ninety two, another purplish blue one. One fifty three, it's beautiful. There we go. Eight ninety eight, eight thirty two. These are interesting. I I wouldn't say off the bat I like this color. It's kind of pukey. <laughs> Hopefully it's pretty in the actual thing. Another kind of me color, 734. Sorry if you like this color. A lot of 720s. Get that fall orange color. Pretty purple, 553. 517. 166. 
Ooh. Is this 9 or 9 or 6 or 6? I think this is, might be wrong, but I think that's 6 or 6. <laughs> 647. Lots of greens and blues and oranges. Ooh, this green is gorgeous. 701. I know that I didn't want only bright colors, but the bright colors are all the ones I go gaga over, so. 550. Thirteen, three fifteen, seventy nine, seventy eight packages of the three times the black. Can I see if I can show you? Sorry, there's so much glare. Well, it's hard to see. I'm sorry, but if you'll have to take my word for it. They look. Pretty good. Yeah. So anyways, this is my crazy huge project that I hope turns out okay. Um, let me know if you guys have any recommendations for working with big projects, whether it's logistics on how to work on them or just um, mentality-wise, <laughs> how to not be overwhelmed. I think um, I might roll this up on the side so that... I can work over here and not have such a huge thing open. And of course, um, cutting little squares in the paper so that I have just little segments to work on at a time. Um, but yeah, overall, it's packed very nicely. Um, nothing was damaged. The canvas looks good. Um, I liked that it was around a foam roller, came with all the supplies I needed. Everything was here. The colors look good. The drills look good. Um, the only thing I might be a little bit worried about is I'm not sure how... Um, the adhesive will be because I haven't done a double-sided tape one yet and the most recent one I got the starry night if you want to see my review on that you can go to my channel that one I actually started working on it and um, I'm finding that the square drills are sliding around a lot so um, that's the only reason now I'm kind of like nervous about how this adhesive will be but I hope everything goes smoothly because this is a big one so I'll be working on it for a while and I will link this product below in case you want to get one and I will definitely um once I finish this make a post review because after putting in all the work that's going to go into this I definitely want to show you guys so that's it for today I'm so excited for this I'm glad I got to show you guys how it came and everything and go through all the colors with you um and I look forward to working on it please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you next time bye